Today we're excited to launch Langsmith Fetch. Langsmith Fetch is a command line util for pulling data from Langsmith into your local file system. We think this is super useful for giving coding agents like Claude Code and Codex or DeepAgent CLI the ability to pull down Langsmith data. Why is this useful? Well, a lot of agents that are getting traced to Langsmith are starting to become longer and longer and have many tool calls and larger prompts. And analyzing and debugging all of that data by hand and by eye takes a while. And so a really common pattern that we're starting to see is developers using a coding tool like Claude Code or Codex or any of those to pull down information and then run it along with the, the code in the context of the code base and then use it to analyze errors and suggest improvements. And so I'm gonna walk through an example of how to do that with Langsmith Fetch right now. The example that I'm gonna be walking through is a deep agents example. So it builds on top of our open source package called deep agents, and it's gonna be a deep research application. So let's open up my terminal. I've already set up everything here. I've set up my environment variables and everything else I want. And in here, I'm just gonna run langgraph dev. So this is going to spin up a Langgraph server for my deep agent, for the research agent. Let's go here so just I can see tool calls and then I'm going to run it. So let's see hi. And it should respond with some pretty simple greeting. I'm going to ask it to research something. I'm going to ask it, what are deep agents? It's now gonna go off and do a bunch of research. Let me wait a little bit and then I'll come back when this is finished and I'll show how we can use Langsmith Fetch to analyze and potentially improve what's happening here behind the scenes. Great, so now it's done. So now I'm going to use Langsmith Fetch to analyze and suggest improvements to this agent. So let's go back here and let's go over to a new window. So this is in the same window. And what I've done is I've pip installed Langsmith Fetch. Great, and then I'm going to spin up Claude code. So here we go. I'm going to use Claude to analyze it. And I'm going to say use Langsmith fetch to analyze the most recent tr threads in. And then I'm going to get the project ID. So I have to pass the project ID so that it knows which Langsmith project to look up. When I was running it, I was tracing it to a project called fetch demo. Let me grab this fetch project ID right here and let me pass it in to the command line here. So now let's see what Claude does. So we can see here that it's played around with the CLI a little bit and tried to figure out how to use it. And now it's gonna create a directory so that it can dump the threads that it pulls down into it. So let's give it permission and let it go running. All right, here we can see an analysis of how it's thinking about these threads that it pulls down. So there's actually two threads because I ran this twice. I ran this what are deep agents and then I ran this research deep agents for me. And we can actually see that they produce different things. And that, that's one of the things that's highlighted as a key observation. And then it breaks down a little bit more about what's going on under, under the hood. And so then it can make some recommendations as well. So like based on this analysis, it, I, could, I could try to add better query disambiguation, add some source verification, add a concise summary format. So both reports are pretty long. And so this is suggesting improvements based on what it sees happening there. From these suggestions, I could then go ask it to implement some of these because it's in my code base, it's running, it has context of all the agent that exists there in code. This was a pretty simple, but hopefully powerful example of using Langsmith Fetch to really make Claude code into an expert AI engineer and bring all the data, all the rich data that's in Langsmith into your terminal, into your coding agents so that they can become AI engineers for you. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.